First, we have the Scipii, the White Wolf, a reference to the story of Romulus and Remus, the founders of Rome, and how they were basically raised by a wolf. There is no link to the Scipii and this specifically, but I cannot really complain. They're Roman, and I guess that's close enough. Three stars out of three. Welcome to Total War Profiled, and today I wanted to do something slightly different. I want to look into the faction icons of Rome Total War and see if they have any historical or cultural backing. There's a lot to go over, so this video will only focus on the European factions. If it does well, then maybe I'll look into the others, the non-European ones, then into other titles also, Barbarian Invasion, Medieval 2, Rome 2, Attila Talk to War maybe, subscribe to get notified of those. But anyway, let's begin. And where best to start but with the Romans, so I've gone over the Scipii, now the Julii. The faction that is meant to represent Julius Caesar has the laurel wreath. This has an accurate background as Caesar is often depicted uh, with the same piece of headgear on. Headgear? Is that the right word? Crown? Headgear just makes it sound like a motorbike helmet, but um, yeah, I'm gonna call it headgear. Hat? What? No, it's not a hat, whatever. So I have to give this one a clear 3 stars out of 3, it's accurate. Of course I cannot expect a full novel out of each icon. These icons are only going to get marked down if I think I could have done better. The SBQR has, obviously, the SBQR. Uh, what more is there to say? Well, there is something. The colour of this faction is purple, which was very valuable to the Romans, only worn by the richest, by emperors, by people in high positions, uh, depending on what era of Rome we are talking about. This fits the roleplay faction of the Senate quite well, and how you've got to, you go from a small faction that's uh, ruled under the Senate, I guess, uh, to actually overthrowing them, and it's it's a bit like a revolution in a way, um, and, and now you can wear purple. It also has the eagle as well, which is a nice touch for uh, the Roman eagle in white. Uh, which the Romans often did have on their military banners. Overall, SBQR, 3 stars. Last, the Brutii, the sword. Well, I struggled to find anything for this one, and then I thought, what if it is not a sword at all, but a dagger? Marcus Brutus. I won't go into any real detail about him, uh, but basically was part of the Brutus family, uh, which is where the word Brutii is inspired from. And he also played a leading role in the assassination of Caesar, who was stabbed 23 times. So yeah, maybe the dagger of Brutii is meant to have something to do with of Caesar. Maybe. Three stars, I like it. Now, Thrace, a super interesting one. Because it's not Thrace at all. Long story short, if you have watched my uh, beta campaign where I'm talk to war videos, you will know this. Uh, Thrace used to be in the game called Illyria, and they were in Illyria. Later, the developers changed it so that it's not Illyria anymore, it's called Thrace. But they kept the same original uh, faction icon. So when I say Thrace, I guess I actually mean Illyria. Now, Illyria's historical ties to snakes is very accurate. The serpent was a religious symbol in the region, and that is clear on a lot of their artwork. Three stars. Although it's not, it's not really accurate for Thrace, but... Nah, it's interesting enough, I like it. Give it three stars. Don't worry, they're not all going to be three stars. Uh, those are just the most interesting ones. Well, not the most interesting, but the most accurate ones. Uh, Macedon, for example, a very simple faction. The black background and the use of an orange symbol is accurate for Macedon. Uh, they're, they're, they used those colours quite often, but the lambda symbol, the upside down V, was only really used by Spartans during the Peloponnesian War. Uh, the Alexander Total War version would have been much better. Two stars. It's got some stuff there, but the Lambda symbol, meh. 
Yeah, could have done better, I think. Although I think that could have worked for the Greek city-states. Uh, speaking of the Greek city-states, uh, they are slightly better. Uh, they use the lightning bolt, uh, which is meant to represent Zeus, uh, the king of the gods in Greek mythology and of sky, lightning, thunder, all of that stuff. Scythia is a weird one. It seems to be based off a piece of artwork found in the region, but I could not discover much more about it. It's just two archers watching each other's back. Now, I'll give it three stars as, to be honest, it's not wrong. It is Scythian artwork that it's based on, or jewellery or whatever it was meant to be. And what else could the developers have done to represent this faction? Three stars. Dacia. Now, the exact symbols used, I cannot find any references of. There's symbols that look similar from the region, and there's Celtic symbols that look similar also, but nothing exact. I could be wrong, but this seems to be more of an artist's impression of the symbols, therefore, only one star for Dacia. The Germans, the faction that shows the double-sided axe. This is, I guess, kind of accurate. A major part of their unit roster in-game and historically consists of axemen, a simple, aggressive weapon that is easy to make. It is also a reference to the double-sided axemen unit, the Berserkers, which they have access to, which is, like, their main unit. Uh, I would give the Germans uh, two stars off of this. I can see why they went with the axe, uh, so it's not going to get a one star, but I just feel they could have done better. What they could have done, I don't know. Um, actually, their original symbol was, like, a dragon or something um, in the beta version. Yeah, maybe there's some... Oh, maybe it wasn't a dragon, but maybe there was a link to that creature on the Germans. That may have been better. I don't know. The Gauls. They have a green background and a red boar. I always thought it was a bull, to be honest, but they worshipped the boar, so I'm guessing that's what it is. Uh, and it does make sense now that I look at it. The symbol can also be found on their military banners, um, so that's also historical. Like how the Romans had an eagle on their banners. The Gauls had a boar. So yeah, three stars. Can't mark them down there. Now, it's the Spanish who have the bull. The bull is based off a part man, part bull, called Bisha of Balazote. Um, it was part of a religion of the Iberians. Interesting, I also found out that they had sphinxes as well. It seems the Greeks or Carthaginians had a lot of uh, religious influence in this region from an early point. Of course, I, I know they were present on the peninsula, uh, but the Iberians seem to have adopted quite a lot um, about them, like their, their culture, their religion and stuff, into their own. Uh, just from what I read anyway. I just found that interesting, that's all. I didn't know it was like the fact that they had uh, basically a minotaur, basically, and sphinxes in their culture. I just found that super interesting. Never, never expected it to be that strong in Iberia. And yes, um, if you are interested, uh, bullfighting finds its roots in the ancient bull worshipping of the Iberian people, if you are interested. Overall, this faction is Thrace or the Gauls. It's just a religious symbol. I can understand it. Three stars. The British and the Blue Deer. Now, in Britain, there's a lot of deers uh, brought over by herders at a time when Britain was connected to Europe. No, not that type of connected, uh, this type of connected. Deers were worshipped in the Celtic religion, but not to the same level that snakes were to Illyria, the bull was to Iberia, or the boar was to the Gauls. There's reason for it to be like this, but they could have found, they could certainly have found something better in my opinion. Two stars out of three. And that's it with the Europeans. That's all of them. If this uh, video does well, there will be a part two for the rest of them. Um, I could even look into the factions of Barbarian Invasion, Medieval 2, uh, Rome 2, Attila Total War. Actually, come to think of it, Thrones of Britannia could oddly be a good one. Yeah, that could actually be a good one. All the different family crescents and crests and stuff, um, as for different factions. Yeah, there could actually be quite a lot to look into there. Um, anyway, 
that is all. Please subscribe if you have enjoyed. Um, it makes these higher quality edited type of videos more worthwhile compared to just a standard let's play all the time. Share with someone who may be interested or on the Discord. And, ooh, new series starting this Friday. Goodbye.